Hello, everybody, and welcome to the House Salt live show. This is the live show for April. We read The Serpents and the Wings of Night. My name is Marines. That's also my channel name. My name is Marines. And I gave this 1.5 out of 5 stars. <laughs> oh, I'm Sam from Thoughts on Tomes. I think I'm going to go with like a 2, 2.5 range. Hi, I'm Paige from Paige Felicia, and I also agree, like a 2, 2.5 is where I landed, I think. I'm Jordan from the Jordan Journals, and I, every time, I don't really rate books, but I actually really enjoyed this one. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, <clears throat> I'm Connor, and my channel is just Connor O'Brien. I picked this up and read it all today, so I haven't, like, formulated what I'm going to rate it, but I'm thinking, like, a three in that okay. area. This that's a nice range of yeah. reactions. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I will say I picked this one for this month. Uh, I picked it because I was going to read it anyways. The idea was to do like a like a whole video taste testing Carissa Broadbent because she is having a moment right now on TikTok. Yes. Like she is all over. I, I made a video basically asking what's the most hype book on TikTok right now. And by far, everybody was like, this book and Carissa Broadbent. So I was like, cool, I'm going to read it. And then uh, I made it all of our problems. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that just, that's why I picked it up. Um, probably should have known when all of the Akatar girlies were saying, read this after Akatar, that I would not enjoy it. Mm -hmm. um, but here we are. Uh, <laughs> Jordan just laughs. <laughs> Maniacally in the background. <laughs> um, okay. Let's start, I think, with characters, because I have a feeling that a draw in this anyway is like character tropes. I, I feel like vibes and tropes is why you would like basically like this. Um, so we'll start with characters. We have our main character, Aurea. Um, what'd you guys think of her? She's a nice little self-insert. Uh, I feel like uh, like a, a little of um, I know you mentioned this in the in the group chat too, but very like I'm not like other girls, I'm not like other humans. Um, very much giving sort of Selena Sardothian ish human vibes. vibes. Like you could, yes, yes, you could one hundred percent. We're gonna be making a lot of uh, like you said, making a lot of connections to Akatar, and it makes a lot of sense why if you like this, try that mm -hmm. kind of thing for this. Um, but yeah, I definitely was like. I think my big thing, which we can talk about more with a plot when it comes around, was I was like, what does make her special? Um, the very classic, like, yeah, no, there's nothing special about her. And then at the end, you're like, yes, there is. And that almost makes things make more sense. But it's like the whole time it wasn't making sense. And so it's a little frustrating. Um, but yeah, like everyone sort of being into her. And also, I don't, I flat out do not believe that um, even being trained her whole life kind of for this thing that a human is like beating all these vampires at this thing. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't care how superhuman you are, even yeah. though, again, we know things at the end, but like, yeah, based on what we knew at the beginning. Unless she was like specifically a vampire hunter and that was like something specific to this world, which sure she wasn't. Which she wasn't. How old was she supposed to be in this? Like 20... 23. Yeah. Oh, oh, there was a specific okay because I was like, there was, I was specific imagining age. her as like a teenager out in these streets, like killing vampires, and I was like, there's no way. But mm -hmm. I feel like this <laughs> 23 the one thing I'll is still say, a teen to me. It is, so. it is very <laughs> much a <little> child. <laughs> I still feel like a teenager at 23. <laughs> right, 23 is still a child. So, and no, also, even 23 but, years is not enough. No, I feel like, oh yeah, 23 years compared to like a vampire who's 200. That's like year 10. But anyway, <laughs> the one thing I say about her, but like it is across all the characters is I felt like none of them had like an actual personality. They were all just standing in to like fill a certain role. Yes. And so I have like no strong feelings about any of the characters at all, which was a very interesting experience while reading this book. Mm -hmm. I had a strong feeling towards her. I was right. <laughs> <laughs> and it was not good. <laughs> I think that she very much like 
this is tropey in a bad way to me. Mm-hmm. It ended up being tropey in a bad way. And I think the flatness of the characters didn't help. She is very much in that vein, like Sam said, of like girl with a knife, girl with a sword. And that like is her entire personality. There was literally nothing else. And I think that they're like part of me when I was still trying to give this the benefit of the doubt. I was like, OK, she's indoctrinated in a way. Right. She has this toxic relationship with her fa- father. Um, and then I was like, oh, she doesn't know her own personality. There was something about her that was like a little disconnected and removed. So I was trying to give her the benefit of the doubt. But it went on too long that she was just so oblivious. And so like things would be happening in front of her face. And she'd be like, oh, it could never happen. And I'm like, bitch, you just saw it happen. Like, <laughs> so that happened, like that happened too much. So I couldn't root for her. I didn't really think she was observant. I didn't think she had personality. Like there was really nothing there. And then, yes, I didn't feel like it sold like her power or her like her like her being capable or whatnot. And the number of mortal wounds that everybody gets and then just sort of like recovers. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. They were dying every other page. And then suddenly they were like, not dying anymore. And I was like, okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. That reminds me of and I always remember this because I think you said it, Maria, at some point that um, like Selena Sardafian from Throne of Glass being the assassin who eats the chocolate candy that's just left over on her bed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. 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 Yes. Yeah, I, I agree. I mean, I think she, there's a reason why she's so plain at the beginning because she's like basically told that she has to be as like reserved as inhumanly possible. Um but I agree that also it took her too long to start developing a personality, given everything that was happening with her and to her. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And the thing is that, like, okay, she doesn't have a personality, but this is a first person narration. So we're literally sitting in her nothing, like, head and nothing thoughts in a way that I was like, girl, give us something. Give us, yeah. give us some sense. And, and there just really wasn't anything. There. It Ex- felt like except you... for her disgust for humans. Yes. <laughs> right, right. Yeah. You almost have to be somebody who reads this genre like consistently because I could just take all of the traits and like personalities of every other character ever like this and like filter it through her. Um mm-hmm. and it is she's the same as all of them. Yeah. So, like even though she didn't have a personality, I'm like, oh, I can superimpose personality on you because I know exactly who you're based on. Yeah, Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I think that that is 100% when talking about like why Sarah J. Mass's books that are so bad do so well, it's because her characters are also flat and there's so much room to just like uh, give your own personality. Like the fandom is doing all of the work that Sarah J. Mass is not doing. I know more about Mm -hmm. these characters because of the memes and the things on TikTok than anything Sarah J. Mass has ever said about any of her characters. Cause they're just like very flat. They have one or two defining characteristics and that's kind of it. And that's how these characters were as well. Super flat, one or two defining characteristics. And then you're supposed to do all the other work, which I mean, as a business model, I guess (laughs) you get it as an author. Mm You can take a little bit from like this fandom, a little bit from this fandom. And you're like, ooh, it reminds me of that character. Okay. Okay, here's what's the main dude's name? Rain. Rain. Mm-hmm. Here he is. Right. You're like you've seen one of these before. And there is something about like, so I read this at the beginning of the month. Um, it's funny when Maddie picked it, I had already started reading it because I was also do- gonna do a video project on this <laughs> um, about like Kindle Unlimited popular books. Um, so this was already like top of the list. And um, there is something just very, which is very similar to again Sarah Jim Moss, not to me constantly comparing, but like because of that flatness. It's an easy read for like me, like as long as I do brain off a little bit, obviously. It was like, a very easy read. Yeah, it was just like, okay, I can like fly through this. Like there's nothing that's particularly like pissing me off about like the characters. Like they don't have a strong enough personality trait that I'm like, I hate that. Um, there's like an annoyance eye roll for me um, and a little bit of like a fatigue, but it's not like, there's been other books that have felt more excruciating to me than this was because this was so kind of just like, okay, I like, I know what I'm getting. I know the tropes I'm getting. I know most of the twists that are going to happen, like this feels sort of comfortable in that way. So it was very easy to fly through. Yes. Like a what? 600 something page book. Um, So. Uh, It's 500. Well, Kindle pages was like 520. I know because I felt each one. It was. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Each one was a mortal wound. that (laughs) that (laughs) She gets, she gets like basically killed 
at least 12 times. Right. Like, li- literally gutted, and then she's just like, and I'm okay right. now. Right. <laughs> at one point, or was it her? Or maybe it was somebody else. Someone's intestines were hanging out at some point, or like gut, it was like definitely hers. Who, like, it was hers. Was it hers? Yeah. Sure. And uh-huh. she has and like a little like, magic potion, and then it like recovers. Right. All of a sudden, your intestines are back in your body. Like well, wow. She, <laughs> she also gutted the guy that attacks her when she's in the greenhouse. Yes. There was like, a couple see. intestines things. I also think that it, 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 things. there's one in the, the alleyway Ibrahim, too. Right, Ibrahim or whatever. The guy that's very end that was like sort of her. They projected on each other a little bit, even though he also had a personality. I think he walked out with like his gut thing. Yeah, you know, he she, also had no. Personality. She mercy killed him. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he was missing an eyeball and. Yeah, like, that I remember that. Just about him. Wrecked Anything else? That guy. No. <laughs> and they and they had pulled his teeth out or whatever, so he's just like his gummy. Parents like, his parents yeah. pulled yeah. his teeth out. And his we were told these things about him. Right, but but he was supposed to be an emotional touchstone of like these two people who have different lives, and yeah, nothing. The yeah. same way with again, I know, I know we're jumping now, but uh, I don't know if you were going to ask about her specifically, but her like friend at the beginning that was human. That I was killed. so annoyed by that. I was. We so were so we were supposed, supposed to, to care, care about it, and I didn't care about it. And again, it, it felt very much like the beginning of Crescent City when you're like, who are these people? That sorry, um, a few people haven't read it. Who are these people that something bad is happening to? Mm. Um, you're like. I don't know you. <laughs> to like, I did a video comparing the beginning of the Hunger Games and the beginning of Akatar because the beginning of Akatar is absolutely ripped from the beginning of Hunger Games. Um, and the thing is that like you care about Katniss volunteering as tribute like immediately because of yeah. the way that that um, Suzanne Collins like sets up the world and she immediately introduces you introduces you to these characters in a way that when Katniss volunteers, you're like. Oh my God, like I care. Well, there's um, also like the built-in relationship of her being sisters with- Sisters, yes. Yeah. She does, yeah. These, she does take a shortcut in terms of like, you're immediately going to feel something about like a big sister, little sister, and it's like mm-hmm. the death. So there are things there that she sets up really well. Well, Sarah J. Banks does this thing where she just like kills people off that we don't know and tries to make that as like the the emotional hook. Uh, she does this repeatedly and it never works. And I saw that here as well, where it's like just to get us into the story, it's like meet this character, they're dead. And I was like, oh, I don't care. And I kind of hate that you're doing this to me as like an introduction to this book because it didn't work. And now I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. There's actually a female best friend in Throne of Glass that that happens to. Yeah. Like immediately. And it like sets off, I don't know, like six books worth of decisions. And it's, it's, I mean, and I love, I love those books. And I still don't think that that's like a very well done character death either. I mean, she's also one of the only brown characters in that whole series. She, and, (laughs) yes. (laughs) Uh, Not wrong. Uh, Rain? How do we feel about? I know we talked about like characters in general being flat, but was <clears> that <throat> worse? What'd you feel? Can I just say I was picturing that guy who does the thirst traps for Akatar on TikTok when I was reading this book. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I have to say. That's all. I was picturing him. He had no personality either, but he was an easy insert. <laughs> well, I was picturing Reese from Akatar yes. <laughs> the whole time. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to remember now again because it's been a little bit. Um, some of the personality things. Uh, I think it was again this like tying back into her as a character of like why is he potentially teaming up? You know, like it was this like what is the connection here? And the um, mm-hmm. I did appreciate that there was like a pr- I don't know. It wasn't the worst slow burn I've ever read, um, but it was also still one of those like you know, I'm not buying some of this like attraction necessarily um, or things just happening really quickly. But I didn't. I didn't hate some of their like banter and stuff, but like, again, it's all like, am I liking this character or am I inserting liking a bunch of tropes. traits that I know are a thing for these characters? Um, but again, b- both forgettable. Like before we started, I had to ask the names of these characters because I had forgotten from like the tenth when I finished this book. So it's not like they he really stood out to me as anything. I think he gets a little bit more personality than the main character uh-huh. which always annoys me <laughs> <laughs> also when it's like the i don't know you feel like the main male love interest gets more sort of uh more of an arc more 
um, gets more developed than the main female character. Um, you know, I when I think about like what I know about these characters, I know one more thing about Rain than I do about Araya, and that is that he cooks. So, yay. Yeah. and <laughs> he he's got, like a good cook. He got one more personality trait than she did. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um, but yeah, like he was fine. Um, their relationship was, I guess, fine. I did find their dialogue a little bit stilted. And the thing really that killed it for me was more the writing, uh, the repetition in the writing, because if I had to hear there she is or princess one more time, uh -huh. I was going to beat myself off a cliff. Uh -huh. <laughs> to the end where he just keeps saying, there she is. I, I truly wanted to set this book on fire. Uh, so, I mean, is it him or is it the writing? Is it the repetition? I don't know. It was kind of all of it. I think it's also but, the heat. Oh, go ahead. I was just going to say, repetition is one of your things. I'm so not surprised that you were like, do I want to highlight every time? Like, I did. Because that's okay. <laughs> I put it in TikTok uh, all okay. the, every single time. And he was like, princess. Between princess and little serpent, I was like, you could delete 50 pages of this just taking those things out, those M dashes, and there she is. 50 oh. pages gone. But typical, again, if we're trying to be Sarah J. Maas reincarnated, like this really is fulfilling that role in so many ways. Yes. yes. I also think the, the there she is thing occurs in both circumstances where she's rightfully mad and yes. also when they're like making up after a disagreement. Mm -hmm. And so when he uses them in both, it gets annoying when he uses it when she's rightfully angry. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It also it kind just, of didn't make sense to me because his whole thing was like, be don't lose your humanity, don't lose your humanity. But then he was like, there she is. Every time she was being like, you know, the way that Vincent trained her, where she was yeah. being kind of evil, kind of distant. And he was like, kind of like, there's my girl, but also don't lose your humanity. So which right. is it? What right. do you want? What do you want here? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Jordan, awesome. you you like this one, so how do you? Yeah, Jordan, speak up. <laughs> I liked it because it felt so familiar. It was, <laughs> I was reading it, and I was, and I, I felt like all of the plot points were super predictable. I felt like the characters were predict predictable. I felt like their interactions were predictable because it's things that I love in like so many other media things, mm -hmm. um, and. I'm not usually like really bothered by bad writing or M dashes or repetition. Like <laughs> <laughs> when it comes to like that kind of stuff, it normally glosses over my head a little bit more. One thing that I guess I was kind of annoying for their relationship was that the the friend, whatever her name is, it starts with a C. Um, she, the his friend. No, right? me, 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 she. Oh. It has a C in it, but <laughs> um, I feel like she was the one that actually like got them together, and then they're like, "Okay, now you're done with with you for this story. Get out." Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, because she, she was more personality than both of them combined. Yeah, she, I was gonna say she, she was the only she, one with the personality. <laughs> she made everything more interesting. Like she mm -hmm. made him. Although I do feel like she was a Alice Cullen. Oh, 100% uh -huh. see that. Yeah, I that was my so see yeah, that. Really like manic pixie dream girl energy. Yeah. Well, well, and if she around. stayed, it would have interrupted a lot of other plot points. Like she right. had to be removed from the apartment. Right. Right. <laughs> literally, exactly. literally, you felt the author going, bye now. Bye. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> it just disappeared in a way that I was like, yeah. cool. Uh, generally, I feel like this, this didn't have enough. I mean, it had characters but i feel like it didn't have enough of an impact from the side characters uh like i kept there would be like entire sections where i was just like asking where is everybody because it felt like there no they're all in their rooms like it's a hotel like <laughs> but then they're also like killing each other in yeah. the hotel like yeah I didn't feel like this world had anybody. So when Misha got shipped off in the middle of this book, I was like, are you kidding me? We only had like one other Vincent and then this as like another yeah. significant character. And then we just ship her off. And I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> I do feel like getting to know some of the other contestants or somebody else would have been yes. beneficial to the story. Because if you yeah. think about anything else that this is like clearly based on, there's like a larger cast of characters for you to care about. Yeah. And the only one we had got 
<laughs> yelled off into the distance. I really think that the the one that gets killed second to last before well the one that was killed before rain like she should have been there oh. from the very beginning being mm -hmm. annoying as hell yeah mm -hmm. like she should have been pulling times, strings but yeah and... it wasn't yeah no that's why i think just... yeah too mm -hmm. she just gets sacrificed at the end it's like mm -hmm. <sighs> lame mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, okay how did you guys feel about vincent um and like specifically when i was like talking about this on my tiktok uh where people were like oh i love this and i was like well what do you like about it uh, <laughs> a lot of people said the relationship between oriah and vincent was like their favorite part and like that toxic dad and daughter thing is like a thing people enjoy so how did you guys feel? Yeah. oh i wonder if that was like bringing in the not to compare this to everything else but bringing in the cruel prince energy of like similar vibes we I have was a guy say, that yeah. steals right that yeah. steals a kid and like blah 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 um so i can see how people like i that that was the piece that i had the most potential to like i'm now again still finding it really forgettable and just kind of being like again we're not getting enough and there's something else here so the parts at the end of like when it's revealed that like he actually is her dad like that made it slightly more interesting but not really I don't want to say in retrospect because I was still was like okay we could have had this earlier like because so many things didn't make sense through most of the book um but I am primed to like that because one of my I love early sort of or mid-2000s vampire media um and one of my favorite series is Underworld and there's like a mm -hmm. um but that's actually they're all vampires in that so like that actually makes yeah. sense but there's some very like toxic daddy issue stuff in that um but again, it was still one of those, like, how much is the fandom sort of filling this in? Mm -hmm. um, and I've seen so many other good examples of it. Like, that series, um, I really love the TV show Arcane. Um, and th that one is so good. So to have, like, those, and then this is just kind of like, eh. um, And you can kind of always tell, like, from the get-go, and he's like, win this thing, and we'll share our powers. I'm like, that's not, there's... Mm -hmm lucrative reasons for this and you're Question not sharing them. Like, yeah. I also thought that what was going to happen, what was going to happen was that something was going to happen where she was going to bond with Rain at the end instead of Dad, is what I thought was going to happen with that, like, I, bond I, thing. Because that would have been, like, sort of like a mating bond situation. So I, I thought I, she I really was going to be... Thought was gonna happen. I thought she was going to be a minor goddess. I, oh, I in fact, always knew that Rain was going to reign that was, <laughs> <not> <laughs> <crazy>. <laughs> it was like, oh my gosh, this is the ruler. Oh, uh -huh. you fooled me. His name <laughs> Rain. I was like, Wait. <laughs> okay. Uh -huh. I didn't. I was I surprised. I, I was, was also surprised. surprised. I, I was brushing my teeth and I went. What? I was at the gym. <laughs> yeah, I think I think I was also surprised by that. I wasn't surprised by her ending up being like no. actual Vincent's kid yeah. because it was like again, why would he have found this kid right. and been so invested in her? And like, he has obviously. magic powers. Like it was the right. 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 They kept talking about that a lot. Like, oh, why was I the only one found there? Like, why? Right. Why was he back? there? Yes. It came Even up too much. To I was like, why is the king in the middle of this battle thing saving this one kid? Like it just right. from the get go didn't make sense. But yeah, I don't know if I really noticed the um the rain thing. So clever, buddy. Um, I mean the I did I, I didn't yeah, I didn't know what he was gonna be. I didn't even see how rain was spelled. I just knew rain, 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 it was yeah. just, oh rain, 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 rain. And I was like, Okay, I get it. He's a king. You know, <laughs> but then fair, when I back, might have been reading that wrong. Like, I think I might have pronounced his name differently in my head. Therefore, mm. like, I was just doing like a little, I think. And yeah. so I wasn't actually <laughs> thinking rain, rain. <laughs> well, I, I suspected that after like he got tortured or whatever and he shows up and he, she's like, there's a huge section near his shoulder that's missing. I was like, oh, scar. okay. So, I should have yeah. remembered that, and I totally forgot about it. <laughs> and, 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 until the end. And she just drops this whole, like, oh, the Rajaj or whatever the like those people are. They have a royal line, and it's totally missing. And then it's mm -hmm. like, meet Rain from that <laughs> line. And I was like, uh -huh. oh, Jesus Christ, are you kidding right. me? <laughs> I, I think I had forgotten, too. Like, I wasn't paying attention to, like, this mark thing. Like, I think I didn't really know what that was. Mm -hmm. So the idea of, like, him having a scar, I was like, oh, is it like a, I don't know, no, like a slave's guy. Like, what is the, what is the situation? Um, and so him having a thing that maybe been missing, I think that like I wasn't picking up on this like mark as like a physical mark. Like I thought it was like a thing that like projected out from them or something. 
so to be fair to like everybody in terms of like the stuff that she puts in here like anvils or whatnot this is a book that does not invite you to like pay close attention or ask questions because it never makes sense from the beginning so you just have to give up trying to understand it and just sort of like yeah. post through it because mm -hmm. from the beginning these fucking <clears throat> games make no kind of sense nothing about the setup of this world or these games make any sense so in order to enjoy it you just have to go i, I guess you're doing i these did games stop asking thing. questions about the games yeah. I did think initially I was like, why are we already in like a tournament? Like this feels like a later book in the series kind of thing. And then I was just like, we're in tournament. <laughs> this book also made me sort of realize that I think I'm deeply done with like tournament slash game books. Like yeah. it's just been the thing that's gotten so worn out in the same way as like um, boarding school books for a while there. Like, and I feel like this tournament thing has held on for so many years now as like this thing that we use that I don't really like that much. Mm -hmm. Like even when they're kind of interesting, I'm just kind of over it. Like I'm just really bogged down in it. So yeah, this again was one of those things where I'm like, I don't really want there to be a tournament. And especially a tournament that doesn't really make a ton of sense. Like why would a goddess decide to, put, like what's the motive here? Like it's just, it's a, it's a really, it's a device like that you need because you need this thing. Um, but it just like, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Yeah. Um, to me so do we know why the goddess like has this trial every year for no. shits and giggles because gods do what they want i think yeah. is like the okay. hand wavy thing because it was also okay. like and i think there was like a little bit of implication that like she sort of likes it when they all fight and having one of these tournaments makes it so that they all fight and that usually the one line gets overthrown by the other it just goes back and forth all the time um, she gets lots of sacrifices well because she gets all the blood too yeah 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 I also think like there was, and maybe I missed this, and this was one of the, I was paying too much attention to the name Rain and I missed this. Too, <laughs> there was like an element of like, they weren't sure what the parameters of the game were, right? So it gave mm -hmm. the author the ability to just be like, okay, now do this mm -hmm. uh, without any sense of like connection or like the, the reader understanding or like being able to see what would happen next. Even though this was incredibly predictable in terms mm -hmm. of like where it was going, the plot itself was not super connected. It just felt like a bunch of like, okay, now do this. Okay, now do that. Um, yeah. But one of the things that I was like, why, why would this even happen? Why would Rain and Misha as best friends enter a tournament together where only one person could win? Why would Angelica and that other person be there together where only what where you have to kill everybody else and only one yeah. person could win? Why would you where do <clears throat> they mention that sometimes yeah. it doesn't require everyone to die, but sure. still yeah. Which, I, like, I thought that was gonna lead to twice. Raina and I thought it was gonna be like a Hunger Games moment where the two of them yeah. survive yeah. because they don't mention that really like far toward the end and I was like, Oh, is this like foreshadowing no it wasn't because i yeah. should have just forgotten it and <laughs> left it where it was but even yeah. if it's like sometimes two people could win you you don't go in with your bestie or like your mm -hmm. significant other like <laughs> just, just in case no yeah. it's right. so the whole time i was like why are you there and then the book went bye misha so i was like it doesn't go anyway <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> the fact that they uh -huh. could like like decide like actually i'm not gonna finish this tournament like can i get like can i leave what yeah. Yeah. Well, it had to be approved to be left. But then, like, right. the whole process, I was so confused. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> it was like, oh, she just gave her blood and suddenly it's, like, fine. And who was that old creepy guy? Like, all of that. Very much giving Frollo from Hunchback of Notre Dame. Like, there's <laughs> yeah. so many, oh. <laughs> you know, like, who's going to start singing Hellfire? Like, it's the same kind of thing. <laughs> and, like, he reminds me um, of, like, the guys from Game of Thrones. Mm, yes. Okay, yeah. yes. Um, but... Yeah, like all of the, the only thing that I, I would even, I would not even say I liked it, but one of the things that I was like, okay, was I tend to like books that have like a pantheon of gods, mm -hmm. love me a pantheon of gods, and like god backstories and whatever. So the parts where they were sort of like telling the goddess a story and then putting that into the games, I was like, okay, like in better hands, that would have probably been really cool. Um, I like, I like pantheons of gods. That's cool. Um, so that was one part that I was like, this is kind of interesting. Um, love like a, you know, dark goddess taking down entire pant. I'm like, that's cool. Mm -hmm. um, but it just wasn't necessarily super fleshed out. Didn't really necessarily need to be. Um, and just like a side part of the story, really. Well, that's why I thought she was going to end up being a minor goddess because they talk yeah. about how she started off and she was not powerful at all. And then mm -hmm. how, how a lot of goddess, gods and goddesses are just kind of around. 
but they yeah. it, only certain ones get powerful. So I was like, oh, well, she's gonna she's got this power that she's not been able to use very well, and it increases over the course of the of the games. I thought she was gonna turn into something, but mm-hmm. nope, she's just mm-hmm. she's just half vampire. <laughs> Lame. Did we ever find out who her mom is? Was there like just a rando, right? It was just mm. like a random. Okay, but like, I why couldn't they figure out confused. if they were trying to allude to it was the queen of Rain's people was her mom, or if it was just like a random person from the. No, village. because then she would have been full vampire. Right? She's yeah. half human. Right. Okay. So yeah. As far as well, yeah, I don't think there was anything. Well, yeah. they left it open too. Like, she knew her name, and she knew she had a brother and a sister. She would know if her parents were in the house when when everything came crashing down, but they make a point of saying, we don't even know if her whole family was there. Mm. So it might be like a family coming back around thing. Yeah. Yeah. I also was a little confused about like her magic, right? Like not, nobody knew really that she had magic, but she knew that she had, even at the beginning it was weak, but she could like cause sparks and fire or whatever. Did she never go, why? Why would I, a human have magic? (laughs) <laughs> it was like hand wavy. It was like the goddess gives gifts to people occasionally. It was like I was. Yeah. I think I think humans <laughs> humans in the world have power, but not always through certain ones. Like so, the the friend, her power came Asia. from yeah from when she was a human. The sun goddess, like it. the sun, right, sure. right. Which I that was interesting. Where I was like, oh, there's like a sun person, and he was like. Right, and it was kind of cool that, like, yes, that her god, like, ended up sort of being like, I'm a vampire, like, I don't want to stay with you helping now that you're a vampire, but, like, she was still trying to, like, pull from it. Like, that's yeah, that, that was, that was cool. cool. I was like, like okay, I like that. She like, is the more, she's the most interesting <laughs> character. She is, and, like, some of those things with the gods, again, I'm like, cool, but, yes, Nicole, thank you for that. We appreciate you supporting us. <laughs> we always end up just rewriting the story. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Give it to us and we will help. I always say that I like I I too love a good brain off read. Uh I I, I will be there. I but hate it can be brain off if it doesn't make sense because then you're questioning everything. I hate a book that you have to read with your brain off. I like a book where I can, where you can just kind of coast and it's fine. But if you literally have to ignore half of what's going on in order to enjoy the book, that's not a good book. And that's how I felt here. Like every time I wanted to be like, why? I was just like, shh, shh. <laughs> <laughs> not here. Don't, bring that Don't ask here. too many questions. I you might do just it. want to remind us that Paige did choose another vampire hand wavy book for oh, another two yeah, months. Yeah, but now. at least there's like a more structured world. Like there are rules is there? and the rules okay. actually like make, they, they track throughout the series. Mm-hmm. It's one of my it's least like favorite a, vampire worlds ever. Listen, Can't wait it's to fine. It. it is so fine. I already <laughs> DNF this book. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is the time that we that we attempt to finish it. To we'll support you. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, I, I do. I, I will say too. I do like again, not necessarily in these hands, but I love a vampire resurgence. I love um, a vampire. Yes. yes. I, I'm wondering. I recently listened to a podcast on like vampires as like a folklore device, and they say like um, the. Uh, professor that was on the podcast was talking about how every age creates the vampire that it needs and we don't currently have like the, what the 2020s vampire is going to be um, so I'm curious what our vampire will be because for so long we've had this like reluctant vampire situation and I'm wondering if it's going to swing and like this is not I'm saying this as this is not I think the vampire of our time no. um, but it does make me think what is it going to be because this was really just as we all have been talking about they, she didn't want to do Faye, so she did vampires that are kind of Faye like. Gonna say, have you ever read a vampire book where they had wings? You, 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 made out of feathers. <laughs> okay, the feather ones. Made out of feathers. <laughs> <It's> not, <laughs> this was giving, not that giving Faye angel, like, yeah. Um, so yeah. I am, I, it, it did make me think about, like, what is going to be the vampire tropes of this time. Um, yes. And I'm hoping that they actually swing in the destructive direction. I, I do love a vampire story, so there was a little bit of hope for me here mm-hmm. uh, that I was going to enjoy this because I can forgive stuff for a vampire story just because I, I love sort of be- that idea of like what the vampire is saying. Because I think that like vampires say a lot about humans, like when we think about like what we 
like sort of exalt in vampires like super speed and super strength and long mm -hmm. lives and they're often really rich and really you know like beautiful like, yeah beautiful but the weaknesses we get give them are also really funny like can't come in my house unless i say so <laughs> so they like, are yeah. like really interesting about vampires but like what 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 did she give us about vampires even really in terms of like the mythology here? I really am not like recalling much. I mean, they drink blood. There are some that are turned and some that are born. I would like say the most interesting thing, which isn't even that interesting, is we have like the bat wings versus the feather wings. Like that was it. <laughs> like, oh, but also, okay, so the fact that the different. born ones are the ones that are like not as popular with the goddess as the ones that turn. Like the bloodborne ones aren't the ones that she likes, which is usually it's the opposite, where the bloodborne ones are the more like strong ones. So I, I read that and I was like, okay, that's cool. But mm -hmm. like, because only only one in three but... of the turned vampires survive, so they're like mm -hmm. chosen. Special. Special. Mm -hmm. They're special because they survive the turning. Vampires. I was exactly. confused on how many groups of vampires there were. I there's like the blood four. ones who are cursed. Then there's yes. the ones with wings. And there's is there a third one? I think the ones with wings are split. Like they're under the same. Yeah. So yeah. there's there's a shadow one. That's right. So there is there's three, but the wings one. wings ones are over here. I feel yes. like and then the wings we one didn't one is two. a lot about. Again, hand wavy. Do you guys, <laughs> uh, it, it doesn't matter. Do you guys get any good like? Pic could you picture anything in this world? Vibes or anything? It was vibes. It was vibes. vibes. I didn't get anything? I I honestly, especially I think in the temple, the descriptions. I was like, huh, huh, wait, what? Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. I I had a really hard time picturing anything in this. I pictured medieval, but with lots of domes instead of pitches. Yeah. Yes. 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 I, th I agree with you. Yeah. I don't know why. Because she says it. <laughs> okay. Does she? she? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> uh, totally. But like, like some of the blood magic y stuff, like when it was like there was blood, like you, I don't know. I could sort of like get some of that. And then the wing types. Like haze of blood around them. Right. And then the wing types, and that's it. I like and how they I didn't even tell you how else I've read looked. before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Rai apparently had dark hair. Mm -hmm. And I was like, yeah, I thought she had white hair this whole time. I, oh. I don't know. Like my brain said, that's what it was because I think I've seen one of the other covers of one of Chris Abrabe's other books, and it has the woman with white hair on the cover. Mm -hmm. And I also kind of assumed Selena Sardothian. So I was like, mm -hmm. she has white hair, obviously, even though she doesn't. I cut. Sorry, Jordan. Uh, what were mean... you saying? Go ahead. Oh, I was just thinking. I'm like, I the the haze of blood that like was around the blood vampires reminds me of something else that I've seen before and I just couldn't remember what it was. Dragon Age? No. I don't know if you played Dragon Age. Okay. No. It's a it's a Dragon Age thing of like with blood magic they'll like droplets will be like around them too. So like they, they did the Susan Collins thing by taking the 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 killed off contestants. Oh was, like yeah. turning them into oh, yeah, 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 demons yeah, yeah. or it's whatever. Demon dog, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Classic. Big, All these classic J Mass vibes of uh we won't say plagiarizing because it's not mm -hmm. plagiarizing, but heavily inspiration. borrowing inspiration <laughs> from uh -huh. lots of different areas. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, there was another thing that I wanted to question, and now I can't remember. Um, There's right. so much to choose from. I know. I had so many questions. <laughs> uh, anything else, I guess? I don't know. We've jumped around so much here. <laughs> I think we've covered it all by jumping around, though. I know. I guess we've left out. the one thing I have a question on is what is the motivation of, oh. um, of, of his group? Like, what are they working towards? Because they get power and then immediately Being start charged. killing everybody. But they were wanting to create like a, a more cohesive. Not everyone's dying all the time. They're but they still need to kill the like opposing the, like military people. yeah but they people, were also yeah. just killing all the humans yeah that's your food source bro surely yeah. there has to be like a, a better way to do this like that i i agree with you connor like i, I don't think that 
Vincent often felt sort of evil for the sake of evil, especially at the end when it was like, oh my God, he was evil all along. Like he, he was saying things about being like a wartime king that I don't think were actually reflected in like, or explained enough where we could be like, well, you know, he does have to make hard decisions. It was just kind of like, what, what are you doing, bro? Um, yeah. So Because he was doing all these things outside of the walls of the castle. Like that's all yeah. we ever saw. So even if he was doing like wartime king things, we never would have seen any of it. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was like such a good part of the chat. And you're right. Everyone in the chat that's saying the garlic should be brought back is absolutely correct. <laughs> oh my God. Um, yeah, the like the, the groups and not really knowing why they're doing the things that they're doing. There's like, um, what was another piece of that? Like even at the end, um, some of the like, I don't know, the, the devices that it creates of like, now I'm gonna have to marry her to keep her safe. Was, like, yes. Of course, and, we're gonna have like a, threaten to a fake wedding. Butcher her and rape her. And, and it also like, just happened so quickly. Yeah. Too. Uh, it was like, kill, 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 resurrect. And now I have to marry you. That game, uh -huh. uh, for, big from Blood and Ash vibes. That is also how that book ended in a way that I was like, Jesus, not, uh -huh. not another one. Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh -huh. Um, I, I remembered what I wanted to say. I guess it makes more sense when you realize like Victor's long game in the end, but I was like cracking up through most of it because when you think about like, I think they said that like something between like 30% or 50% of people uh, survived the change uh, to vampires, but only one person was going to win this stupid battle. I love that Victor was like, go take the longer odds. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. She right. never questioned why the worst odds would be the thing that she had to do. She was just like, okay. Um, mm -hmm. So, yes. Because and, that's the whole thing is like, she can't actually be turned, right? Because she already is half. So like- He is already half. Mm. That would be, which um, mm. the other thing too that we that. talked about that I wanted to just circle back to, even though it's like not going to take us that long is the whole thing that I also found a little bit insufferable was when she was hinting about that dynamic she had with the vampire ex, um, the mm -hmm. guy. I was oh, like, yeah, just yeah. get to it. We know that your yes. ex lover bit you. Yes. Like, yeah. let, come <laughs> yes. on. And but then she did some contradictory stuff where she was like, when she was doing everything with Rain, she was saying how like the bite is like an aphrodisiac and makes you like really into it. And I was like, wait, but then you were bit by your like boyfriend in the middle of sex where you were already having a good time and it consented to that. And then you were like, I was so scared. It's like, but wasn't that part of you just said it was an aphrod which one is it? Like that part of it was like a little just confusing and muddled too of like just to add a I've been betrayed before like it was very woo woo it. because when she gets bit by the old man um she's, she's like I didn't, I didn't find him a child like, like it. it so yeah yeah yes yes I wasn't turned on by this creepy old man with papery thin skin yeah. <laughs> don't worry guys <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah it also felt like uh I we almost made it through a book without like basically a sexual assault um, but not quite. Thanks, Chris right. and Brendan. Mm -hmm. Like, I, I, yeah. it really felt very unnecessary uh, to to take it there. But you know, she did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, Yes. Did the ex lover was he a, always a vampire when they were he together? Was, he was, he was turned. turned. He was always a vampire. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. I also didn't like super like the. Uh, I think one of the like death knells for me in the character was actually the scene where they talk about her killing that person and and like kind of going through with it. I was like, mm -hmm. I I got that she was like highly manipulated in that situation. She, you really know, traumatized. And, but also yeah. she just kind of did it. <laughs> yeah. just like, I don't know. I, I didn't super love that for the character either. Um, right. I guess uh, I just also don't understand what she gains from killing all the vampires eating the humans. She doesn't like because she humans. seems that you're right. She needs to not like the humans. <laughs> but I guess maybe that's where they were like, well, she's been sort of training to do this this whole time, so like she knows their weakness. You know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think that's what it was trying to get at. And yeah, again, it's not like she fatness outside the, the wall, like. <laughs> but instead of like food. getting food for her family, she's just killing. Vampires. She's just killing vampires. That that felt like such a weird side quest to me. Yeah. To protect from her, to protect her vampire dad from the vampires. I mean, like it was, <laughs> it was all well, and then you could tie in 
and you wanted to be a vampire together like stuff too i guess i don't know but yeah again more convolutedness I really she didn't seem to particularly love humans to want to like protect all the humans in the village. Mm -hmm. That whole thing was like kind of wild. Mm -hmm. Um, How'd you guys? So they could go drink beer, bad beer, bad beer. Yeah. (laughs) How did you guys feel about the end? Like I know we've kind of referenced or talked about a little bit, but um, a a lot of people I also like talked to about this said that like for a large part of it they weren't super enjoying it, but the last like ten percent was really good or like picked up or whatnot. Did you guys enjoy the end? Did you think that it picked up? Did it leave you curious enough to pick up book two? I think that I wouldn't have said like again. I think. It, I enjoyed the end so much and it like pulled up my star rating isn't necessarily true, but it's because it still made it more like, again, why didn't we have these things earlier? Like, why, did, why are you trying to like mess with me by being like, we're having these reveals. Like it just, I didn't really like that, but the reveals did start to make more sense. And I, I do feel like maybe like this has faded in my memory so quickly that like, I don't know if I'm going to pick up book two, but I wouldn't like, if someone told me like, you need to read book two, I'd be like, okay like I'm not gonna be like no I can't um like there was I I like a fake married kind of thing like some of the stuff with her being half vampire I like half vampire triplet there's things there that I like do I think she's gonna necessarily do them super well I don't know um the blood born people are like semi interesting I don't know like a very it's still very hand wavy but I will say I do think the end did some things that I would have liked more earlier. And so I liked it slightly more, but not in a way that like bumped up my star rating a ton or anything. I think we should have, I think the ending should have been expanded more and earlier. I think we could have not had as many um, competitions (laughs) because there were a lot of them. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Um, And so some of that stuff could have been more dramatic and spread out because they go from like two chapters of having sex then a very quick final battle, and then they get yeah. married, and it's over. Mm-hmm. It's like okay, <laughs> the pacing was t- totally off. Yeah, the pacing was off. Yeah, I I did finish listening to this book like while I was at the gym. I had put on music, and I was like, no, 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 I can't do the music. I need to go back and find out what happens in the book. So I, I was definitely like invested by the end of it. But I do think that like one of those reveals could have come sooner. We didn't need to have both those reveals like in the same page at the end of the book yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, just to kind of help spread out that a little bit um, I do like the fake marriage trope typically but I didn't I kind of got to the end of this and I was like oh why did we have mm-hmm. to do that too like why did we have to throw in yet another thing of like there's already so many things in here that we didn't I didn't feel like getting into that one as well but I don't know I got to the end and I was probably the most hooked into like the backstory of everything as I had been the whole book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I also like enjoy fake dating, fake marriage uh, tropes generally. I think the reason I, the, I didn't enjoy it here was sort of the pacing and because it was like this very obvious, like last page, like, ha ha tune in for more. And I'd just mm-hmm. gotten over 520 bad pages. So I, I like, I resented <laughs> that. Um, but then also like the fact that it was, he did it to her. Whereas, like, mm-hmm. you married me now, instead of it being, like, a thing where they came together and, like, they said, okay, this is the only way forward. Or she completely, like, loses agency in that. And yeah. I was, like, this is so gross uh, to me. Um, so I wasn't super into it as well. I think that by that point, like, whether it picks up at the end or not, I was, like, so over it. Like, it was, you know, winning me back at that point. Um so yeah, am I going to read the second book? Maybe, because I'm doing this whole project. I'm going to try her other series first and then decide what I'm going to do from there. Um, but yeah, I, I I don't think this was good. And I, specifically, I don't like her writing style. And so yeah. I don't know what plot she could give me that could make me forgive that she's emulating one of the worst writers that I've ever read in my life, Sarah J. Mass. So... <laughs> also, <laughs> if her- her goal is to be successful and have a similar career. Yes, she's on. Her I mean, she's she's on track way. because she's it's like that. that's the person that's at the top of your field, and you're trying to get there. You would also include M dashes. Yeah, no, she's, <laughs> she's like taken the Sarah J. Mass formula and like done pretty. I think, I think that there are things about Sarah J. Mass that is probably a little bit like more addictive. Uh, and I, mean, I would put Sarah J. Mass above this. 
And yeah. I would never think that I would put Sarah Jane Maas above anything. The, the cast of characters, and she's got yeah. a little bit more of like the like I don't know, hot people in hot clothes doing hot mm-hmm. things. She me. loves to do like the the mated like faded to be together. Faded okay, and label, I, I which eat that shit up, so that's now. probably why it's right. Yeah. Yeah. And I I was like, just wait till no. There was something about the moon goddess situation right. the things she was saying i feel like there's something there about there's a faded, faded mate that. situation what really annoying they're, they're, about the marriage yeah. at the end is i like when they do the marriage and like in like a secret <clears throat> setting you find out later and they like done the marriage because it, it has some like faded thing to it and this was just more of like you're gonna marry me mm-hmm. and you're gonna like it mm-hmm. <laughs> and i gotta mm-hmm. tell my bros i'm gonna rape you real good <laughs> right right <laughs> for them to not do it. anything to you yeah yeah, yeah. so but I, I see yeah. why like I see, I think I see why she was doing that. Like obviously, is like now we're like so the slow burn ended because they got together. Now we're undoing it. So there can be another slow burn of enemies to lovers, forced marriage, um, which to be fair, it's not really a to be fair thing. But like I sometimes do get bored with couples when they get together. Oops, super toxic of me. Um, so the fact that it's like rewind. I'm not necessarily again. I didn't really care about them. Um, but in another book where maybe I like having some kind of device where we undo some of that, I might've not been as mad because I'd be like, we get to do this little burn again. But this one is like, okay. Like I, you know, again, feels more contrived and then, but in a different context, I might actually like this. And I see why she did that. If it's like, this is a slow burn series and now we're renewing the slow burn. The double slow Unless burn. Unless you introduce yes. somebody else. No. Yes. Well, yeah. and, if she, and, if, and if it doesn't work out, no. the process no. to divorce in this world apparently is extremely difficult. Like, uh-huh. Jasmine at the end is like, I, I got free, so I can help you get free too. Um, listen, that's what they said about this fight to the death, and all they had to do was go, Can I get out? So, <laughs> <laughs> can you say I have a good question? To leave? <laughs> about the blood guy that like ha- gives him a clove cigarettes do we think he's coming back to be the secondary love interest isn't he older i don't Is know if any older? of them get the old. vampires all look the same even if they're older oh because i did not get um sorry, i don't know because at the end i was just sort of like it was kind of like i don't know i, I don't think secondary love interest because like, i think I don't he's know. gonna be the next big bad right like he's the guy that like okay. so he was giving me who would he be I can't think right now of like a character that, but it's almost like, okay, we got rid of sort of the initial villains. This Mm -hmm. is the new villain that's holding everything over, you know? So I don't think it's going to be, and also it's just a duology, right? So I don't think she's going to do a- No, there's a duology, okay. Oh, I thought, no, there's- There's second one just came out and there's four more after that. Oh my God. After this book, it says- Okay, just kidding. So she might- I think- (laughs) Yeah. Oh, there's six total. We have five more books in this world than her author. Just knows. because I was thinking, okay. if it was following the Aquatar <laughs> thing, then we need a Reese. And right. Like we would need to have a second love introduced. interest. Yeah. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I think I think I might have seen like a tweet or something about like the second book is the second book following them, but then there's more books in this yes. world, but it's not all following and they follow them. Okay. So people. in that yeah. case, it's okay. in like that the case, next I don't. And then the Elaine. Okay. Or... Then no, there wouldn't be a secondary. Okay. Like, then yeah. Much. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I did see a question earlier. Okay, do any of you guys think that this could be picked up and adapted? If so, should it be a movie or TV series? I'm with Brittany and um, Nicole with CW. Like this is classic CW. Pretty people doing mm-hmm. things um, and drama. Yeah, I don't think there's mm-hmm. enough, but like I think CW will just flesh it out in the same way it did Vampire I Diaries and things like Netflix. that. I think give it to Netflix. Netflix for, yeah, because the way they did First Kill, oh. let it be just as cheesy as that. Mm. <laughs> you have to work very hard. I yeah. know. <laughs> Jordan, you listened to it on audiobook as well. The narrator was so bad. That's so bad. So oh, bad. it didn't bother me. Oh, my God. The no, sex scene. It the was sex so bad. Scene? I'm going to send you all clips of the sex scene. It was bad. <laughs> no. <laughs> See, it didn't I don't bother want me. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, as I was reading it, I was thinking of you and like what you probably were thinking of it. <laughs> if that's not because of like the tornado, tornado. or torpedo, whatever that was. Uh-huh. <laughs> Uh-huh. Um, so I agree yeah. it could be adapted, and I think it would probably be better than the book because those writers would have to actually give it plot for mm-hmm. like episode to episode so mm-hmm. um, and 
not that this is like a, I don't know. They're not that this is like There's, a interesting world, but it's vampires. So I don't know. Yeah. It's like you just yeah. go with it. Yeah. There's so many other things like this though that have been attempted to be adapted, and none of it has worked really well. We do need a new vampire show because again, with the age yeah. of the vampires, like there hasn't been new vampire. It's, we had Buffy. We had True Blood. We had Vampire Diaries. Vampire. We haven't had anything. Is Vampire Academy still happening as a TV no. show? They started and yeah, they redid it. And it's currently yeah. ongoing? It canceled. It got canceled. It got canceled? Yeah. After Absolutely. season one that came out last year. Yeah. Okay. yeah. Jess made me watch okay. a bunch of the episodes that were out. And then she's like, yeah. okay, like that watch next. it next week when the new episode comes out. And I was like, okay, bye. And then I never watched it again. Yeah. Um, I didn't <laughs> ever watch it. So <laughs> uh, it got canceled. I didn't know it canceled. I didn't even know it made it to TV. Uh, like, there were so many posters around Toronto for that show. I don't know how they had the budget for it, honestly. <laughs> Because they used to have a fandom for it, that's why. True. And then they that fandom aged out of the book. We did, in so, fact, age out correct. of the book. <laughs> so that's why I'm bringing it back. Is this on the same level as Shadow Hunters with the pretty people doing things? It, like, is that the same level? I would say Shadow Hunters does it better, honestly. Yeah. Shadow like, Hunters does it better because there's more. There's more characters. Like, and they're fleshed out. And you actually care, care about them. Yeah. Yeah. And the world is more developed. Trees, like, it's insane. Yes. But the world is more developed. As much yes, as I it's think more I drama. That too, Cassandra. <laughs> um, 100%. She, like, she has her little magic system and she has her little types of beings. And she definitely gave yeah. that more thought than Carissa Broadbent get, gave anything in this world thought. Mm -hmm. Well, because Cassandra right, Broadbent is trying to be like, you know, knockoff Sarah Jamas. Like, this is Wish version of Sarah Jamas. Yeah. Like, you're getting. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, Us well, in a live show saying Sandra Mass and Sandra Claire are better. <laughs> wanting the, not. the same no, outcome, but doing that. less work for it. Yes. <laughs> it, it, yes. Less Which work. go off, Queen. Like she's yeah. doing it worse and probably making a shit ton of money. I mean, TikTok oh, seems to love it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't even know this was a TikTok book. Yeah. Yeah. All the Chris and Robin books are really big right now on TikTok. Yes. They're loving it. They're loving mm -hmm. it. I did mm -hmm. see a few people who said, like, this is not like Sarah J. Mass. Nothing could be Akatar. Uh -huh. uh, but uh, for the most part, there is a lot of, like, after you finish reading that, like, move if on. you want something similar, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> she and uh, Sarah J. Mass. If any other questions, drop in chat. Anything else for you guys? Any parting thoughts? Any feelings? Any moments? Any what the fucks we didn't get to? Mm -mm. We I, covered everything. I feel like the final battle was easier than some of the other challenges. Yes. <laughs> I was like, what the heck? This is supposed to be difficult. The poison <laughs> deer and the mist that kills you from that one. <laughs> the, like, right. Mist from that like one part of the games. games. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, I had a lot of moments where um, we talked a little bit about like, the main character not convincing us that she was like super badass or whatever. I think it, part of it was also like I had my most frustrating moments was when she made bad decisions. And there were like a few things that she did. Uh, like when she found out like Victor maybe killed a bunch of people or whatever, she's like, oh, I'm going to go ask him. And I was like, bitch, like think for a moment or even just like the whole vampire hunter thing. Like you're in a fight to the death. What if you get injured? Like, mm -hmm. I, so her like inability to reason things out, I think. I had a bunch of like moments where I had to like close the book and put it down because. <laughs> Do you Good thing you started it early. I know. Good time for that. Time mm -hmm. for those breaks. Do you think this book was like Red Queen, and that just like took a bunch? It's been a long time since I read. Oh, the like, Red, Red Queen. Yeah, yeah, I just read Red Queen a few months ago. Um. Yeah. Yes. Yes. It had there, were, there was more substance to Red Queen. Maybe I, haven't, I, mean, I don't remember. Like, I haven't read Red Queen since that came out. Yeah, it's, it's been like that was, that's been dumped for my years brain. since I read that book. Yeah, I feel like Red Queen had this much more plot, like mm -hmm. this much more effort into actually getting like ABC and like bringing us somewhere. But mm -hmm. very similar feeling in terms of like you're reading it and you're going. I've read this before. I, mm -hmm. I swear to God, I have read this. But I will say, I gave this book 1.5 stars, and I gave Red Queen two stars. Mm -hmm. oh, this much mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. You like to angry Pikachu better. 
Yeah. Uh, that, <laughs> yeah. That so, so, so annoying. Uh, but, We're making Maddie, like, basically not defend her least faves, but, like, say something <laughs> about yeah. them. And, like, yeah. In comparison to this fucking book. <laughs> I think Brittany had a very good statement about the next few months. Although the next one is um, is Jordan's, and that's like a thriller that might be good. Um, yeah. I don't know yes. enough about And it's supposed to, to be things. cozy, so it'll be. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, I'm very excited. It'll be better than this, 100%. <laughs> I don't know. I still enjoyed this. I had a good time reading it. Yeah, uh, Connor. Amy said uh, that the ending battle had to be easy, like the Akatar riddle. Have you read *A Court of Thorns and Roses*? Oh my god, it ends. Oh my, <laughs> oh my god, riddle, and it's like a riddle for like the entire kingdom, and the biggest villain in the history of the world is gonna like be defeated if she solves this riddle. And it's literally like a riddle you can find on the back of a cereal box. Easy. <laughs> <laughs> But the character can't read and like doesn't know things like it's supposed to be a whole thing but like yeah it, the, that was the riddle that everyone predicted like I mean, the, the nice. best the best Akatar content I have ever seen on TikTok is people bending over backwards to explain why this was so hard. And Feyre never knew love, so she couldn't know the answer. And I was just like, boo. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, the riddle. Okay, I think that's it. Uh, yeah. Next month, we are reading Finley Donovan. Uh, is killing it. Is killing it. Um, it's listed in the description if, that, if everyone doesn't know. Wonderful. Because I just yeah. tried to remember the author's name and I couldn't. Finley Donovan is killing it for next month and then the month after that, Vampire Academy. So we'll be back with the vampires. Yes. Um, yeah. Hope you guys join us. Thank you for joining us uh, for this, uh, especially if you liked it. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I still enjoyed it. Right. There was, we, were, we were trying to make it We work. did. We did try to reason through it. We did try to say a few points. I stayed up until 1 a.m. last night reading this book. I haven't had that in like years. Wild. We love that for you. Queen. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you guys next month. Thank you so much for joining us. Bye. Bye. -bye.